Hello everybody, it's Tommy and welcome back to my channel. Today we are building a pontoon beach party and I am so excited to show this build off to you guys. I really, really love the results on this one. Uh, so this was inspired by my previous video where I did a yacht restaurant. If you missed that one, it will be linked at the end, but go and check it out. I've been really feeling the boat builds recently and I might come up with a couple more. And my boyfriend actually suggested why don't you do a pontoon? Uh, and pontoons are like the epitome of my summer. I don't own a pontoon. I wish I did. But um, friends and frequently people in Maine will own pontoons. And the reason that they are so great is because they don't go very fast, which might not be like everybody's cup of tea, but they are really made to carry multiple people and kind of sit around, fish, drink, do a barbecue, maybe go find a beach somewhere in the middle of the lake and park it and go and lay out on the beach. And they're very diverse. And something that people really like to do, especially if you are a part of a group of people who may all own pontoons uh, is go and find an area to park and kind of string them all together really really close into one little area and people will jump from boat to boat to boat and uh, have a little bit of a party off of a shore somewhere so that is what we are building today and I'm so excited uh, because this includes three pontoons they are all different types and they all function a little bit differently in this build and then we're gonna do a beach where your sims can't get out and maybe have a barbecue and do all sorts of stuff literally every party item every fun activity that is included in The Sims is going to be available on this lot. Um, we are, I believe, going to jump to a different lot in a few moments here because I realized I was out of room and that seems to be a theme when you are including something that has water. I really have been under judging how much room I need for the actual uh, water area. So screenshots at the end most definitely are going to be from a different lot in the game and that is just because I recommend you place this lot on a larger one so that you have more room and you have more water area to move around but I did try to keep it a little bit smaller for those of you who don't like to use up all of your big lots uh, and this is a generic lot because it is more like a party area than anything, but the version that is on the gallery for download, and you can download it right now on the gallery under my origin ID, the alleged simmer, all one word, uh, that lot actually has everything you need to survive. Um, I believe maybe with the exception of a bed, uh, it has bathrooms, it has places where you can eat, places where you can take a nap, lots of fun activities. So you could potentially use this as a residential, although I don't. I would probably put this as a destination lot uh, for you to go and visit and play around and maybe like a park. A park would be a really good way uh, to play with this. So doing the pontoons themselves pontoons are really kind of simple in nature. They tend to be round, um, kind of small, flat, very flat so that you can walk around on them. They're made so that if you are going top speed on a pontoon, which people don't usually, but if you were, you would be able to still walk around pretty easily and uh, lots of seating. So we're using these really big white couches and I'm going to be using them on all of the pontoons, but the one in the middle is actually going to be a different type. I'll talk about it a little bit more when we actually get there. Uh, so that one is going to be a little bit different in nature. And then for the top of the pontoon, usually they'll have an awning of some sort that you can pull open to give more shade if it's a really hot day, or you can uh, completely close it and it'll be like a sliver or push it all the way down. Just depends on the type of pontoon. And I originally was using roof pieces to get that piece up there and get that curved look. Um, but when we add the water later on, there was a lot of conflicting issues with the foundation, with the actual roofing. Um, and it didn't want to place the water basically the way that I wanted it. So we had to improvise a little bit and a lot of the roofing, or at least that first piece is going to get replaced with something else, uh, later on in the video. For the second one right in the middle, this is a different type of pontoon, and I don't know if it has a different type of name, uh, but it's a double decker pontoon, and usually there is a ladder from the lower floor up to the top one, and 
people will jump off of the top. It's also sometimes have uh, like an attached slide or some kind of swing or some kind of thing that you can use to jump off or slide into the water. So we have one slide item, but it's for children. And if you size it up, it doesn't look that great still. So I am using a roof piece and you obviously can't actually slide down off of that, but it still gives that same idea and uh, it does look like a slide. So I wanted it to have that feature nonetheless and instead we are going to do a couple of things up there like a card table and some barbecue uh, places and things. So um, the idea is there. Hopefully in the future we will get a pack that includes like more amusement park type of things where we have like big water slides. That would be perfect for a build like this. Uh, but for now we are forced to kind of make it look like something that it is not. And that piece in particular, that roof right there, oh my god, when it comes to putting the water down, that was the biggest struggle. And I'm going to be moving it around really frequently in this video. You would think I would learn by now uh, the order in which you have to place certain things down in order for them to work. Uh, one being the water probably should have been placed first and then the roofing second so that it didn't keep auto deleting over and over again. But I didn't learn. I just kept replacing it every time it would auto delete. So the lower floor of the pontoon is a really open party area. Uh, I've done like a couple of grills. This is probably where everybody would go and get their food and uh, grill out, sit at the tables, play some cards, a bar. I definitely wanted to have a bar. Ideally, all of the boats would have included a bar so that your sims don't have to jump in the water to get from one boat to another um, and everybody could have been drinking. But this is the one that had the most open area. So I included the bar most importantly on this one and then a couple of tables and a couple of um, kitchen counters for cooking and things like that. So this is probably like the hub and there usually is one boat uh, that is the main one that everybody's hanging out on or it has all of this stuff, uh, lots of coolers and things like that. So this is just overall a really fun time. Um, I love doing this. One of my favorite summer activities is going on a pontoon and finding like a beach bar. And that's originally what this build was going to be, uh, was like a beach bar, which is just where the sand kind of comes really far out into the water. There's one in particular where I live that is my favorite spot in the whole world. And it is, it's kind of a nuisance because when you're going through this one particular lake, it literally comes right out into the middle of the lake. And if you don't know it's there, it can actually be a really big hazard. Uh, so they put poles and posts and stuff through it so that people who are driving boats know that there is a huge chunk of sand there. But you can park your boat there and then you can just sit on the sand and the water is just above the sand. So you get that kind of really in between where if you go further down the sandbar, you can swim, uh, you can jump off the sandbar and swim in deeper, deeper water, or you can literally just sit on the sand and you get just a little bit of water on you. And it's so nice to just sit there for hours. I could do it four days. Uh, my favorite activity. It's also a good fishing spot. So I like to fish. Um, and fishing is probably the one thing I would have liked to have included in this build a little bit more, but I wasn't sure about the mechanics behind it. If you watched my treehouse build where I did the plane wreck treehouse, I did this, this trick uh, that you can supposedly do where you will take a sign from debug and it will auto generate fish. And I believe your Sims will be able to fish that way, but I didn't know where to put the sign in this build. And I also wasn't sure if it would work because I have never attempted to do it with a pool. I usually use ponds. Uh, so that is not included in this video, but you can most definitely add it if you wanted to. And then the last pontoon, um, this was where I started to have some issues. So I wanted to put a bathroom underground. That was my very first idea, but for some reason the foundation was not allowing it and I didn't know where I was going to put the stairs to go down that I could hide them. So this originally like last pontoon was made for me to hide stairs, which is why I was using the object awning originally. 
uh, so that you would have an area underneath the water where your sims could go use the bathroom, but it just wasn't working. So I decided to skip it, think about it later. And in the final version um, of the build, I actually use the debug stalls that you get from maybe City Living, uh, potentially cats and dogs, and you can get them in debug mode and they're literally just bathroom stalls and uh, they function as fully operational bathrooms and those are included on the beach area, which makes a lot of sense actually. So kind of fix that problem, but at this point in the video, really wasn't sure. So instead I decided to just decorate it as a full pontoon again. And um, like I said, they each have a theme to them. That very first one is a little bit more luxury. And later on, it's where we're going to put all of the radios and the music and everything. The middle one is more of the central hub and the food and maybe some party games. And this last one, it was made just for the purposes of stuff. So I put like towels, um, a buffet table with various food items and things that you like might need when you are out by the water, like towels. So, um, yeah, they're all themed in a very particular type of way. Eventually, I did, I pulled that pipe out because I wanted to make sure that all of these pontoons had engines on them. And the engine is usually located on the back. So for the yacht, I did not put an engine. And I actually asked my boyfriend about this because I wasn't too sure. But he told me that a yacht would probably have the engine kind of underneath the bow where you wouldn't see it. But for a pontoon, it's right off the back of the bow uh, and it dips into the water. You can like push it down and pull it back out. And usually there's a ladder there that you can push down. Um, ladders? No ladders in The Sims w was really like the biggest struggle of this build because it would have been the best if we were, if I could have put ladders straight down into the water off the pontoons or later on when I wanted to add a small ladder next to the slide. That was really when I was like, oh my god, like a ladder would have made this build and you can do a makeshift ladder but it doesn't work so it's kind of annoying but your sims should still be able to jump off of the edges of the pontoon and that's why that lip is included there around the edge but it's also realistic because pontoons tend to have that. Uh, where you would like open the gate and go out onto the edge of the boat and then that's where people jump from there and where like I said the engine and stuff is. So maybe they're a little bit big in this build and when you're building on the diagonal that tends to happen you end up using more tiles than uh, you probably would have wanted but I wanted to make sure it had it because it just wouldn't look right without it. I tried to do at one point more of a realistic pontoon uh, and do it in a very specific type of way. And this build actually took me a lot longer than what you are seeing on screen because I couldn't get the shape of the pontoon right and I was really trying to play with the levels and get it to look um, more floating than it does, but it kept deleting. It was too big. It wasn't working. The rounded edges, it was really, really glitchy. So we decided on this final shape, which again was a little bit difficult to get on the diagonal. And then when I got this far in the video and the roof started to delete itself and started to freak out because I was adding water, that was when I was like, oh my God, is this even going to work? Like, am I going to be able to accomplish this build? Build, basically. And um, yeah, there was a point where they both just deleted the roofing pieces were gone. And I gave up as far as that went. I was just like, I'll figure something else out later. So adding the water was the most important part. If you don't have the water, then you don't really have the concept of the build. So wanted to make sure I got all of that in and had to go around all of these foundation pieces was so difficult, especially because like I said, the game just really didn't want me to do it. So there was a lot of shape changing on the foundation edges and I fixed them uh, to the best of my ability. But for some reason, when you put the water right up to the edge like that on these curved edges, they do not want to stay curved. So they would keep glitching and it was just a whole mess. And I think this is also the point where I realized that this lot is probably a little bit too small for what I was trying to do. Um, so I recommend putting it on something larger than this and the screenshots are all going to be on a larger lot um, because it just looks so much better. But 
I try to build on smaller lots for you guys because we only have so many large ones in the game. So if I'm constantly building on large lots, then you really have to pick and choose what you're going to keep around. And I know personally, if I download a lot, I keep it for a while. So uh, it just makes more sense to try and keep things on a smaller area so that more people can download since we have that available. But I do do my occasional very, very large build. That big 64 by 64 in Windenburg is like my favorite place to build and I'm constantly stopping myself from doing it. Uh, it, especially this one. I wanted to build there originally, but I just felt like it was unnecessary to have all that room and I believe this is a 40 by 30 but I'm not sure. Later on, I definitely moved it to a 40 by 40, potentially. Um, but yeah, once we have all the water down, I was able to add back in some of the roofing. It didn't shape correctly. It didn't really go where I wanted it to go the second time around. And for that one on the far left, I was completely unable to add the roofing back in. It wouldn't let me do it no matter what I did. Um, and it just kept saying, you know, uneven base, bad whatever, conflicting. <laughs> so I ended up having to use an object, but it actually looks a little bit better uh, and maybe a little bit closer to what an actual pontoon awning would look like. Um, and it gives a different kind to the three different types of boats too. So I did like the variation on that. And once we have this basic structure down as far as everything space-wise and all of the necessities like the seating, that's when I really went in with the decorations. Uh, so this is about to do like a 360 and I even thought like, oh, this is good. Like we can stop here. The concept is here, but I've really been enjoying putting my builds to the next level and going all out with the decorations. So I decided I wanted to add engines. I wanted to decorate the water um, and make it look a little bit more lakey with plants and rocks and things like that that you would find naturally in the water. You probably would not see crystal blue clear water like this uh, unless you were out in like the middle of a tropical style ocean and I don't know how prominent pontoons are on ocean water. I think that they are pretty much like lakes um, but I don't know. I'm not quite sure about that. So I wanted to make the water look a little bit more organic. I also decided this is when we are going to add the beach um, and just have everything that you possibly can for your Sims to spend like the most fun party day here at all. Uh, this big platform right in the middle of the water is a dock. So that's also a pretty common occurrence. It's usually off of like camps and stuff like that. You'll see a lot of docks uh, floating in the middle and it's for people to swim out and then they can go and jump off of it. Sometimes they'll have a slide, sometimes it'll have a diving board, but uh, I also included it in this build for me to be able to put some of the diving platforms that we have in the game so your sims could potentially dive into the water. And I think I added one on the other side as well well um to give your sims a couple of different options and lots of trying to hide the lips of the edges of these platforms like i said the curved edges were really making it difficult to mesh with the water the way that i would have liked so i wanted to also use plants and things like that to try and hide everything and make it look a little bit more blended in with the land uh ideally i would have been able to just do platforms over the water and do them floating but like i said earlier it just wasn't working the way i wanted so this is what we are doing um so these tubes they are actually two items from cats and dogs and they are the tubes that your dogs run through and they're really really big items but if you size them down and then place them together they look like tubes that you would just sit in um, on the water and I love doing that trick. I did it in my Polly Pocket uh, tropical build a couple of weeks ago and we're actually going to do a couple more in this build. I originally was keeping them all kind of put off to the side like that and the balls are sized up balls. Some of them from debug mode, some of them not. Then again, your dogs would use uh, from cats and dogs and that's just, you know, we don't really have beach balls. We don't really have tubing. Anything to decorate the water really and do like those fun party things. So I like to do those tricks when I am trying to uh, give off that impression of some water floaties that you would see like everybody ever 
who goes out to do one of these parties brings water floaties because that's what you would do. You would get, you would either be on one of the boats playing cards or um, hanging out, or you would be in the water on a floaty, probably with a drink in hand. So I wanted to make sure that that was included, uh, doing a couple more on the other side later on in the video. And then it was all just about how am I going to decorate all of these boats and make them look so fun and especially at night too. I wanted this to be all lit up at night and uh, play with the lanterns, play with the colors and a lot of items that I forget we have like balloons and streamers and things like that. When you were doing something that's a dedicated party build, uh, it obviously makes a lot of sense to use that kind of stuff but I never use those things because they are so um, specific. So I tend to forget we even have them in game but later on I do remember and then I put balloons everywhere streamers everywhere um to really decorate everything and make it look fun festive uh, i'm replacing the stairs over and over again because for some reason the game wanted to delete those as well it's this really strange issue and i don't know why it happens but you could literally be placing a wall on the edge of the law and then it'll just highlight like oh if you place this wall here we're also going to delete the stairs that are on the other side of the law. And it doesn't make any sense to me, uh, but it happens a lot. And it was happening a lot in this build in particular. So kind of annoying, but we worked our way around it. And um, yeah, this first boat, like I said, I wanted it to be the boat with all of the music. Uh, there's a couple of speakers that are on the larger pontoon boat. So if you turn on the music, that should come through the speakers is my understanding. And uh, so it'll, you know, go around from boat to boat. And then the middle boat, I just wanted it to be the one that looked like the area where your sims could get up and jump off of. And it's too bad that we don't actually have like... um maybe a diving board. I don't think we have a diving board, right? Where you could uh, set it up to go off of the top there and then jump in the water from that second level or do a ladder, um, a real ladder, a working ladder to bring your sims up there and jump off of. But yeah, just have to do kind of a makeshift ladder. Uh, the easiest way to do that currently is to put up a wall and then use some basic shelves and space them out uh, and then delete the wall afterwards. So we did do one of those ladders in the front next to the slide to get to that second level, but I did include the stairs so that your sims can obviously actually get up there. And then that table up at the top is a dedicated card table for your sims to do a little bit of poker and hang out. Um, I also included the darts, but it's down at the bottom and I specifically put it in a place where I know it's not going to function. I didn't have a dedicated like wall. I didn't really have the space for it, but I wanted to include it for looks. Uh, so I know where I've placed it is not really going to work, but I wanted to have it there anyway. And yeah, Let's do some lighting at night. Uh, these lights are for the bottoms of pools, I believe, but I really like them for boats. And on pontoons, I've noticed you will see lights like this where they are built into the actual boat. They're usually a lot smaller, but it is for uh, people to be able to walk around and see everything and not fall into the water, hopefully. So they're, they tend to be on the edges. But a lot of the lanterns and a lot of the stringed lights that I was using worked for uh, lighting stuff up at night as well. I don't know why that's such a big thing with me, but I really enjoy turning the lot into nighttime and decorating at night and making everything look all pretty. I think that that makes the best screenshots in the game. And if I had it my way, I would take screenshots always at night because I think that's when it really brings out the colors and the aesthetic of everything. But I know people primarily play in the day so you want to see what they look like in the daytime. But it's always important to me to try and remember that especially because I believe like in the beginning of my YouTubing I would forget to put lights all the time and like did not care about what it looked like at night. So now I'm kind of doing the the 180 on that and um really caring and making sure that it looks all pretty. So did that a couple of times. The engines themselves that I've put on the backs of the pontoons, the main one, that is a trash can combined with a pipe. And then there's usually a little bit of a water spray off the edge of the, um, 
engines. So I used a couple of fountains, hid those on the inside to put those off uh, so it does have that effect. I also just wanted there to be water movement in general. So I did use a couple of fountains up against the edges of everything, hide them under the grass and stuff like that. Uh, you would get like splashing when you had the boat itself, like it would splash against the water. You would get like a little bit of that. So I wanted to have that effect of like water moving and um, so we hid some of those in there behind the pipes underneath some plants and stuff. And then, yeah, this is when I was like, oh yeah, I actually wanted this to be more like a beach bar party. So um, I wanted to put the beach back and cut some of that water back out, really do some sand. And this is where like, I was like, oh, I should have built on a different lot because doing this sand edge on a grassy structure just looks so weird. Um, so later on, I do uh, take all the screenshots from a different lot that has more sand included, but playing with some terrain tools a little bit, and I don't normally do that either, but um, I wanted it to have some deviation in the surfaces. That made it a little bit difficult when it came to placing items, though, uh, and that tends to be the reason why I don't use the terrain tools because items will constantly float and then you have to find a spot that is flat in order to place like a picnic table and things like that. It will not clip all the way to the ground. So I wasn't able to decorate the beach here as much as I would have liked to and still keep uh, that variation in the land. But we did get a couple of picnic tables in, a couple of grills later on. Uh, probably not in the video. I did add some of those bathroom stalls, like I said, and some more places to chill out and lay down. And then we just have this horrible edge where the water meets the land and it creates this lip that just looks awful. Uh, so the best way I can come up with covering that is to literally line the edge with rocks. And that's not something you may see at every single beach. I have been to beaches where that is the case, but um, I just hate it so much and I like the look of the rocks a lot better. So I did go ahead and put those all over the edges. Your sims can still get in the water. Uh, they can go around. But like I said, if you followed my advice and go to a bigger lot, then they will not have that problem anyway, because then you have the larger lot, they'll still walk around. It'll all be okay. Um, so yeah, again, this is available for download on the gallery under my origin ID, The Alleged Simmer. I hope you enjoyed uh, the build. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Would you like to see more boats? Would you like to see more tropical themed builds? Would you like to, let me know. Let me know anything you'd like to see and I will try and make it happen. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon below to turn on post notifications so you can get updated every single time I post and I will talk to you all in the next one.